Massey Ellen Ajad, thank you so much for joining us. You have a Facebook page, My Stealthy Freedoms. How are you doing today, Massey? Thank you very much. I'm trying to be fine. So, Massey, you're based in London, um, and from what I understand, uh, you have gotten a lot of responses from Iranian women who are posting pictures on your Facebook page of them taking off their headscarves, which is ac actually against the law. So how did you get these women to send pictures to you? I'm a journalist. I, I didn't ask them to take off their scarf and come to the street. I am reporting about what exists in Iran. And as an Iranian journalist, I know that every time when Western media want to cover the news, they just see Iranian women in hijab, in state TV and official media. I didn't ask them to come to the street, but I knew this moment of freedom was exist in Iran and still exists in Iran. And I gave them uh, an opportunity. I used Facebook and gave them an opportunity to, to speak about themselves. And now they participate in because they want to be heard, because they've never seen themselves in official media inside Iran. Have you received backlash from the authorities inside Iran since this page went up? Of course. I mean, they always attack me and they, you know, think that I am paid by Western government. They're more than welcome. They can come to my house. I mean, the mm, uh, journalists from official media, they can come to my house and see that's only me behind this uh, uh, fan, behind this uh, page because I'm an Iranian woman and I have been suffering all my life uh, from traditional society, from uh, traditional family and the authority uh, in the street as well. Look, a lot of authorities in Iran are going to see these women on your Facebook page. Are you worried about the safety of these women showing their hair in Iran? I mean, every individual Iranian uh, live with worriness every time. I am worried too. But um, I, I always, um, um, you know, give them the awareness. And I say that, um, look, this page getting media attention every day. So if you want to uh, send a picture, be aware of um, the reaction as well. But you have to see and see the inbox. My inbox is full of pictures. Every single minute I receive a picture from Iran. And they sometimes blame me uh, by blame me and, and saying that, complaining that why I don't publish their pictures. Because I have to verify uh, every individual picture. It takes time. How do you think social media has changed the conversation for women in Iran right now? How has it expanded, you know, women's rights in Iran? I believe now Iranian state, uh, Iranian government should uh, listen to this voice. This is the voice of Iranian women who has been censored all their life in Iran. And now social media okay. giving them the opportunity to, to speak out, to be themselves. Massey Ellen Ajad, thank you so much for joining us. Your Facebook page, My Stealthy Freedoms, has over 300,000 likes now. I wish you luck in your future endeavors, Massey. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to be the voice of Iranian women.